again everyone welcome back to my channel well for this episode is very interesting we're going to talk about Schengen visa how I got my Schengen visa how to apply and where to apply anyway I have a vlog here also about the Japan visa recently for 2022 kasi di ba nag open na sila last October and then I got also my Japan visa renewed naka renew na ako ng Japan visa so maybe you can also check it out here in my channel and also I'm gonna share the photos of my visa um, old visas um, former visas ng aking Schengen visa here Actually, I've been to Europe many times na. So, I already experienced applying for Schengen visa uh, maybe five times na. First, ang um, requirements, normally, ang mga pinasa ko, much better kung may credential tayo, no? Um, property, and then um, bank statement or and bank certificate, uh, application form, and then a photo, I think. Wala namang interview ang Schengen visa. So yon for application again application form photo certificate of title if you have certificate of employment kung employed ka and then kung self employed ka you have a business yung birth business permit ITR mo pakita mo yan DTI pakita mo yan you have to provide them and money syempre of course you have to prove that you have enough funds to provide para sa trip mo with statement or bank certificate. You're working, um, employed ka, certificate of employment, kailangan mo yan. And also, if you have a business here, then show it, yung business permit and BIR or ITR documents, you have to provide it. Travel insurance, you have to provide travel insurance. And also, prepare nyo na rin yung ticket nyo, back and forth ticket with return ha, may return ticket kayo. By the way, yung sa ticket pala, hindi ko yung binuk agad ha. Kasi diba kung hindi mo pa naman alam ang resulta ng visa application mo, why you're going to spend for a ticket, right? Kaba agency na gumagawa for that, nagre-regress ako na can um, make a reservation for ticket for me. At yun ang ipapakita ko. And hotel booking, you have to show them kung saan kayo mag stay Pero yung hotel bookings ko, kailangan yung free cancellation. Kasi syempre, you never know kung madina yung visa application mo, paano yung hotel bookings mo, diba? Dapat, yung policy ng hotel na binook mo, dapat free cancellation yun. Kasi at least, kung may aber man, or hindi man ma-approve, at least, diba, hindi talaga siya yung bayad na na hotel. Kasi sayang yung money. And then, invitation letter. Napaka-importante ng invitation letter. Most of the time, may invitation letter ako from a uh from my partner, boyfriend, sila yung nag-i-invite sa akin going to Europe, Schengen area. It doesn't matter kung saan siya doon, like my former boyfriend before, he was a German um, citizen, so he's from Germany. So, siya yung nag-invite sa akin, uh, he provide his ID, yung ID niya sa Germany, passport copy, and also invitation letter na nagsasabi doon, he's going to pay for everything, he will take care of me, I'm going to stay at his place. So, basically, he's going to take care of me, lahat. He is the provider and the inviter. So, napaka-importante, especially kung first-timer ka, at saka mag, may pupuntahan kang boyfriend doon, kailangan may invitation letter ka. So, mas lagi akong na-approve kapag nagpo-provide ako ng invitation letter. Pero one time, and try din ako ng walang invitation letter, plainly, all my documents lang. Um, dokumento ko lang lahat, wala akong invitation. Na-approve naman ako. My last um, Schengen visa issued last um, 2018. No, last 2018 pa when I go to Germany but yun na yung last visa ko hindi ko pa natatry ulit na mag-apply ngayong 2022 since sa Norway ako normally nag apply ng visa, Scandinavian visa kasi for me, hiyang ako sa kanila um, they're quite open you know, open sila parang feeling ko, um, maluwag sila normally, so compared to other embassy like France or Um, Spain, just is based on my experience. So, more at home ako sa Scandinavian country like Norway or Finland Embassy. So, first register to UDI.com Doon ka mag apply ng application mo for tourist visa and other type of visa. Um, that's for Norway, no? Kasi, 
um, as far as I remember that time, Norway at Finland um, iisa yung consul nila. So, ang humahawak ng Norway. But I think now, 2022, mayroon ng sariling consulate ng Finland dito sa Manila, Philippines. But anyway, I'm talking about before, um, Norway ko ina-apply, pero sa Finland ako nagpupunta. Sa so, Finland yung ina-apply yan po, pero pinapasok yun sa Norway. Sa application na yon you have to provide yung mga bansang plano yung puntahan, tsaka yung country of entry ninyo. Kailangan nyo sabihin yung country of entry and yung mga plano yung puntang bansa within Sengen area. Doon mismo sa UDI website ng Norway, nandun na lahat ng questions, a lot of questions. Um, be honest lang sa question. Like, if you ever um, rejected for visa application to Schengen before, you have to tell the truth. So, after mo mag-fill up sa UDI.com ng Norway for your application ng visa, then dun mismo sa website na yon, dun ka na magbabayad ng application fee. And also, dun ka nakakuha ng schedule mo para ma-submit mo yung documents mo for the visa application. Visa fee is around um, 5,000 to 6,000 pesos that time, last 2018. I don't know now kasi it's 2022. I'm not sure kung makamamaya, iba na price nila, nagtaas na sila. But that time, it's around 5 to 6,000 pesos. So, after mo makakuha ng schedule from that website, pwede ka na pumunta sa Eco Plaza BFS Global sa Magallanes, Makati. Don't be late, be on time. And then, um, they will assist you naman doon. There's a little bit of interview. Mga Filipino lang naman nag-interview sa'yo doon. I-check yung um, documents na pinasa mo kung matatanggap nila. They will check your requirements at saka yung documents na ipapasa mo for your application. And then kapag na-accept na nila yung application mo at saka documents mo, then next step, biometric. After photo taking, biometric, at nasubmit mo na yung um, application mo and documents. Then, I think you have to wait for maybe a week for the decision dun sa visa mo. Kasi minsan mabilis lang, very quick. So, kapag wala namang issue yung application, like in my case, fortunately, after 2 days to 4 days, yun yung range ng days na binibilang ko, nakukuha ko na agad yung um, text message nila and pinipick up ko na yung visa. And then sa text message, malalaman mo naman doon kung approved ka. So, makikita mo na doon kung ano yung schedule mo kung kailan mo siya pwedeng pick up yan. Babalik ka doon sa Eco Plaza Makati VFS Global to pick up your passport. Normally, yung visa, um, pwede kayo mag-request ng multiple entry. Yung visa ninyo, yung duration of stay, mag-vary yun at de-depende yun kung ano yung uh, sinabi nyo doon sa application. Kung hanggang kailan kayo mag e stay Let's say, for example, um, you're planning to stay for 20 days, I think they're going to give you 30 days. At one time experience ko, nilagay ko doon, I'm going to stay for 30 days, but they gave me 60 days duration of stay. Okay, another thing sa Schengen Visa. Pag sinabi nilang multiple ang um, visa mo, it doesn't mean na kapag umexit ka sa Schengen area at babalik ka, it doesn't mean na another 60 days yun ha, ng duration of stay. No. Yung unang pasok mo, like for example, nag-stay ka ng 15 days nung unang pasok mo na nasa Schengen area ka. Pag lumabas ka ng Schengen area, yung 60 days na yun, bawas na yun. So, 45 days na lang yun. Pagpasok mo ulit ng Schengen area, any place yun, anywhere in Schengen area, mag start ka na sa 45 days na natira. Hindi yun automatic another 60 days. Hindi sila ganon. Hindi ganon ng Schengen visa. If you're going to Schengen, normally, ito ang policy nila. Kung saan ka mag apply na embassy, dapat dun yung bansang mag i ka ng matagal. Okay? You're going to stay there longer compared to the other country na bibisitahin mo. So, for example, you're going to stay longer so the rest of your trip, no? Yung itinerary mo, you're going to stay most of the time sa um, Norway. So, you're going to apply sa Norway kasi they will not going to accept your application if you're going to um, apply sa Norway Embassy but you're going to stay longer sa France. So, they're going to tell you na, oh, apply your tourist visa application in the French Embassy, sa France Embassy. Not in Norway Embassy kasi you're going to stay there more. Diba? So, 
That's all for this vlog. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something from this vlog. And see you again to my next vlog. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Click the notification bell. And also check out my playlist here and other videos.